Hello, book friends. Uh, my name is Kelly, and this is Kelly Hooked on Books. Uh, today's video is a tag. It is the Garbagas Truth or Dare tag, and this was created by Ollie in preparation. Well, Ollie at Criminali or Screaming Criminali for Garbagas. This is made for preparation uh, for Garbagas, which starts next month. Again, if you don't know, Garb August is a readathon where we focus on reading the trashy books. Um, <clears throat> and just, it's a lot of fun getting to books you wouldn't normally pick and uh, own up to reading. So there are some questions and there's some dares. I think I'm only going to answer the questions because I don't really have a lot of time for the dares and I don't want to show anybody a booktube video, my very first booktube video, because it's embarrassing. I don't even want to go back to watch it. Anyways, question number one. How would you personally describe trashy books? So trashy books to me uh, may not be your trashy books to you. Uh, trashy is subjective, but in my opinion, trashy books are something that you read that doesn't have like a, a lot of educational value where it's more for entertainment and um the writing may be bad the books may have smut in uh, books that you wouldn't want to be seen reading in public books that you are ashamed to admit that you enjoy to me those are trashy books so that could be anything um again what is trashy to me may not be trashy to you. Second question, what's the trashiest book you own? Well, I haven't read everything that I own, so I'm going just based on reputation and based on um, maybe the cover. So I do have some books that have like naked, not naked, not completely naked, but like, you know, your romance books with the shirtless man on it. I have some Richard Lehman trash. He is known and infamous for being very descriptive of women's bodies when it's not really necessary to the story. Um, I ha have, <clears throat> let's see, I want to say this is trashy just because it's of paperbacks from hell. And those 80s vintage horror books tend to not be that well written, but entertaining. Let's see. I have novelizations. I've shown all these in previous videos. Um, where was the one? There's another romance with a backless woman. Well, she has a back, but her dress is backless. <laughs> um... Let's see, uh, Sweet Valley High books. So, I mean, I don't have, I, ca I can't declare one trashier than the other, really. Number three, what is the trashiest situation you've ever been in? I have been in some situations I am not proud to uh, own up to. I don't think they're appropriate to discuss with people. Um... What can I, the trashiest that I've ever, that I can actually talk about, um, involved alcohol. I did kind of post about it on Instagram. I had a period of time where I was going out to the bar a lot in my 20s. Um, we were, a group of us were at the bar after closing. We were hanging out with the bouncer and the bartenders, and they kept the bar open. We were outside. People were smoking. Not me. I was just there with the smokers. Um, I peed behind the bar. The regular bathroom, right around the corner. I politely asked the bouncer, can I pee here? He didn't care. I don't know if he was drunk. But that is the trashiest that I'm going to claim to here on YouTube. Number, next question. Have you ever read a book so spicy that you cease to be a master of your domain? Or which book has the best smut scene you've ever read? Um, I have read a handful of smutty books. 
Uh, never usually with people. It's usually either I've read a couple of dinosaur smutty books. I read a couple of the barbarian alien books. There is a scene in the first book, and if you've read it, you know what I'm talking about, where the blue alien wakes the girl that he finds up in a specific manner. I will not get into that, but if you've read the book, I, I guess I would say that's probably the best smutty scene that I've read <clears throat> to date. Could change after this August. Um, the le next question, have you ever received or given a trashy book as a gift? If so, what was the book and your slash their reaction? I don't believe I've ever gotten a trashy book. I know that I've sent off some books that I guess could be considered trashy, like some like YA horror books that weren't that great or vintage horror books. Usually the person is welcome and happy to have them, so it wasn't like a big thing. But if I sent it to somebody else that it was considered trash, they probably would be like, Ugh, why? Um... The next question, and last, did you ever read trashy books from your parents' shelves as a child or a kid? Um, I'm ashamed to admit this, but I remember, and I'm sure all of you guys do too, that are, I'm an, I'm an 80s child, but this book was written in, I want to say the 60s or 70s, judging on the artwork in it. Uh, I found <laughs> the joy of sex on my parents' shelves, and as an inquisitive child, of course you're going to pick that book off the shelf. Um, I was quite surprised by what I saw. My parents don't know, and I don't, I'm pretty sure they, well, my pa dad is not around anymore, but I think that book has been long, long gone. Um, the artwork is very dated. Because of when it was written, you have a lot of hair. That's all I'm going to say. Um, so yeah, you know, as an inquisitive kid, I want to say I was like, I don't remember what age, but yeah, that was something. But that is it for what I am going to do for this tag. Uh, there are some dares, so I'm interested to see what other people are going to come up with. But are you going to participate in Garb August? Let us know or let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm excited to get to the trash that I own. Uh, there's probably, I have more than I will get to, obviously, but. That is it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, help me get to 600, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!